Okay, welcome. Today we're going to talk about how to create additional workspaces under your personal navigator view. I have several other videos that talk about how to create your own custom navigator view, but also how to customize your workspace. We're not going to go over that. Today we're going to talk about how to create additional workspaces. So first, you've customized your workspace and you want to make sure that after you create your workspace, you save it. And when you save it, what happens is it will appear underneath the top of your tree in your navigator view, and it will show up as one of the options when you go highlight the workspace menu. Let's call this, let's say we customized this workspace and we'll call it test. Now before we save this, there's about five different options. Assign as default for this navigator item means that once you navigate to your custom navigator view, this is the default workspace that shows up. The second one, assign as home workspace, means that when you bring up the Tivoli Enterprise portal, this workspace shows up. Do not allow modifications means you can't change it. The next one, only selectable as a target of a workspace link. If you're familiar with workspace or if you're familiar with links, Within the Tivoli Enterprise Portal, you'll understand what that means. And always open workspace in a new window. And what that does, it opens a completely new window, so you actually have two Tivoli Enterprise Portal windows. So for this, we're gonna, just going to click OK, ignore all the options. And immediately, you'll see that it shows up as test. Now, what if you want to delete it? If you want to delete it, it's as simple as going to File, Delete Workspace, Yes and it disappears from the menu here. So you notice that it disappeared. What if you named it and you wanted to change the name again? You don't want to change the label. You would go to Edit Properties or you can do Control R and you'll notice that this workspace is called JChamp. If I changed it to Test and I click OK, what will happen is this should change the test instead of JChamp. So you see it's very easy. It's, it gives you a lot of flexibility in terms of adding multiple workspaces. So if you have a lot of cool ideas on how to um, you know, monitor your environment and you have all these workspaces, you can just create all of them within your navigator view and just within a couple clicks you can access any type of workspace that you've created. So that's all. Please feel free to contact me at jcham at us.ibm.com if you have any other suggestions on videos that you would like to see.